Did you know there's more than one way to get to Birmingham from London by train? I'm at London Marleybone Station now. Let's go and try Chiltern Railways. Yes, so unlike most of the other railway termini in London, I think Marleybone is quite low profile in comparison. I always think it feels a little bit tucked away behind the rear entrance of its neighbour opposite, the impressive five star landmark hotel. The entrance is through these arches, which brings you into the main concourse area. Interestingly, this part of the station is quite wide and is at right angles to the platforms. Now, there are plenty of food outlets here if you need to get supplies, which you will, before boarding the train, and most of them make use of the original interior of the station. Opened in 1899, it was the London terminus of the Great Central Main Line, which ran between the cities of Leicester, Sheffield and Manchester until the mid-20th century. It's always been one of the smallest termini in London, with just six platforms. The GCML's demise threatened its closure, and it was only really saved from this by the amount of commuter traffic on the London to Aylesbury line. The Chiltern Railway Service is a relatively new addition which has obviously helped its cause. Obviously it's quite quiet here at the moment, but I've used this station in normal times and I do find it much less stressful than the hustle and bustle and overcrowded concourse at Euston. Here's another fact for you. Marleybone is the only main London terminus without any electrified national rail services. Anyway, on to our journey today, which is with Chiltern Railways in one of their Class 168 units. After heading out of Marleybone, we will be calling at High Wycombe and other smallish stations before reaching the Midlands, and finally, the fantastically restored Moor Street Station. A journey time on this route is around two hours. The interiors of these trains are quite fresh. Really big windows, I thought. I chose a table seat, of which there were plenty. And covers were placed around the head area of some of the seats, Another dig tat about social distancing, I assumed. The tables were robust and had an extender, which is useful for putting things like laptops on. There was that seat power, but only three pin plugs, so if you've only brought a USB lead, you're going to be out of luck here. <coughs> the Wi-Fi worked. Just enough for basic stuff like emails, really, and social media feeds if you're lucky. Uh, Chiltern Railways have operated this route since 1996, and now in the past, when I've used this service, I've had Class 68 locomotives at the front. Uh, Chiltern currently have six of these, but I'm not sure if they're being used at the moment due to lower passenger numbers, I presume. If you've got any idea about this, then please let me know in the comments below. Talking about loco hauled services, does anyone remember back in the late 2000s a train operating company called Wrexham and Shropshire? They were a company that set up under open access rules to run a service, from Wrexham obviously, into London and they used class 67 locomotives pulling Mark III carriages. Because of an odd clause in the contract of their main rivals, which were at the time Virgin Trains, they weren't allowed to properly stop and or pick up passengers from any of the main stations on the West Coast Main Line, like Birmingham New Street or Coventry. And so they used this route to Marleybone. Now, as a result, they really struggled for passenger numbers and ultimately went out of business. And quite sad, really. It was a wonderful train with fantastic staff and service. They're quite reminiscent of Transport for Wales Premier Service between Cardiff and Holyhead, also known as Gerald of Wales. As I hinted at earlier, there's no catering on board. Well, I've never seen any. So if you can't go without for a couple of hours, you will need to buy something in London beforehand. We reached Birmingham Moor Street Station on time, and yeah, as you alight from the train, don't you think it feels like you're stepping back in time? Yeah. 
the station was opened as a terminus of the Great Western Railway in 1909. But these days it also has three platforms, which I will use for my onward journey tonight. The station was saved from demolition but mothballed until the late 1990s when volunteers started to clean and restore its many buildings and artefacts. It achieved Grade 2 listed building status in 1998 and restoration was completed in 2002. It's a real testament to the hard work and dedication of the people involved and I think of it as more of a museum piece than a station and I just love getting off the train here. You can easily imagine the days of steam and actually I think that ambiance is felt even more strongly at night with the reproduction lamps shining under the canopies and the original seating and signage still in place. It's a real gem of the railway network and a complete contrast to its neighbour at Birmingham New Street. And that's that guys, I'm at Birmingham Moor Street Station. A fantastically preserved station, this is a much nicer place to arrive at than Birmingham New Street, in my opinion. So thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up or maybe even subscribe. So until the next time guys, cheers for now.